Okay, so let me do this question and the next two questions um, that's uh, coming from a single lens setup. Let me do them as a group. Um, although they might require slightly different setups each time, but let me just do them as a group. Um, so for all the questions, we will really be using uh, this thin lens equation. 1 over focal length is equal to 1 over object distance plus 1 over the image distance. This one equation works for many different circumstances because we use the sign convention that imbues greater range of meanings to these uh, variables than you might originally guess. So here, okay, lens has some positive focal length and it's being used to photograph some flowers some distance away, okay. So let's just sketch it out to, so that I can be sure to um, have some sense of it. So the biggest thing I want to make sure I get a sense of it is how does my focal length compare with the object distance? And I think I can see from the numbers that my DO is greater than the focal length. And that's great. Um, that will give me a real image. So without doing calculation, I actually know that it'll give me real image from having done this before. And uh, I do recommend uh, some ray tracing exercise that kind of helps to get an intuitive feel for it. Um, and uh, when you do ray tracing, you know, first the principal ray, one that comes parallel to the axis, that goes through the focal point um, on the other side for a converging setup. Let me put a dot there, try to hit it. Okay, that's the first principal ray. Second principal ray, when you draw it as correctly as possible, you'll find that it goes in such a direction that, um, that you know, it actually converges on the other side. That's where you get the real image. So how far from the lens does the image form? Um, so I need to take this equation and solve it for the image distance to do that. Let me quickly do that in my head. If you want, you can double check me later. Di is going to be reciprocal of, um, and just being lazy, <laughs> 1 over f minus 1 over do. So that's the formula I'm going to use to get the numbers. So image forms um, 1 over focal length, 30 millimeters minus 1 over object distance, 840 millimeter. Uh, reciprocal of that. So, uh, and uh, I'm omitting the units, I'm keeping everything in millimeters, so that I should get millimeter uh, for my image distance. It's going to be pretty short image distance, I think. Uh, exact, yeah, 31.11. Uh, yeah, 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 a little bit away from the focal length. Yeah, I think that makes a sense. Yeah, good. So that's uh, that one question. Let me look at the next two. Okay, so this is the next question. Suppose your 44 millimeter focal length camera lens. Did nothing change? Yeah, nothing changed. The only thing that's changed is the um, kind of the relative size of this. So this object is pretty close. Uh, oh, wait, wait, sorry, no, no, I, I misread it. So this is the focal length. And when it says it's a 47 millimeters away from the film in the camera, what they are telling you there is they've told you that your this is the image distance. So in the previous question, we had the, the object distance and we were calculating the image distance. This time it's uh, asking for the object distance. Okay, so let me solve this uh, thin lens equation for image dis or sorry, object distance. Again, I'm just doing this in my head, the lazy way. <laughs> you can double check it later. And let me um, just go through the calculation. Now, here's the thing. If I had some uh, mixed them up and thought this was object distance and do the image distance calculation here, it would actually give me the same answer anyway. You can kind of see it in the formula see here. So uh, let me plug in the numbers. Uh, 1 over focal length, 44. Um, the this image distance, uh, because it's forming a real image, it's the positive 47. Um, and hopefully this will yeah give me a positive number that uh, corresponds to a real object like it should. 689, um, same unit as the other two numbers, millimeters. 689 millimeters. 
What is the height of the object if its image is two centimeter high? Give your answer as a, yeah. So this is where you have to remember the magnification formulas, uh, which goes as uh, so. I guess uh, you can express magnif linear magnification in two ways. One is its a definition. This is how it's defined. It's the size of the image, height of the image divided by the size of the object. That's how it's defined. And you can go through the geometry exercise that's done in the textbook, um, that's instructed to go through, to derive this formula based on the image and object distances, minus di over do. So, um, so the equation I'm going to use is this far left-hand side equal all the way to the far right-hand side. And it looks like uh, my unknown is the height of the object and everything else is known. They give, gave us the height of the image and we just figured out the, the object distance and was given the image distance. So solving this for height of the object, you get HO is equal to minus DO times HI divided by DI. So let me calculate that. I have the minus object distance, 689 millimeters times the height, 2 centimeters, divided by image distance, 47 millimeters. The millimeters will cancel this 2 centimeters, so the answer it gives me will be in centimeters. So it'll, um, uh, now, don't think it's, yeah, absolute value of the height. So we're just looking for absolute value, so it'll be not minus, but 29.3 centimeters. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, yeah, imaging system like that don't uh, magnify in the sense of making things larger. So, okay, so that's the second question. Third and the last question in this set. Let me get to that. Uh, yeah, okay, where should a three centimeter tall object be placed in front of a concave mirror of radio? Well, that is so different. Okay, let me just erase all this because I think none of these are going to be directly relevant. So I'll just sketch the whole thing from scratch um, so that it's not so cluttered. Uh, so we have concave mirror. Okay, we got a concave mirror of some radius. And I guess the way I'm going to interpret it is it's telling us the focal length. So if it has radius 20.5 centimeters, then we know focal length is half of that, 10.25 centimeter. So we'll just use that. And if it's a concave mirror, that's a converging setup. It's a plus 10.25 centimeters. So um, for this uh, setup, I know there's some kind of focal point. And so that its image is real and two centimeter tall, real. Okay, so my object will be somewhere out here. And they've done this weird thing where they didn't give us the either the object distance or the image distance, instead of what they told us is the um, object height and the image height. And I think if it's going to be real image, image height will end up being minus two centimeter, uh, as in uh, inverted. Okay, um, so that's a magnification. So that's making me think, oh, it's probably worth writing down some stuff about magnification. So magnification is defined as ratio of that hi over ho and i know the derivation from the lens optics that also applies to mirror optics so i'll write them down that magnification is di over do okay so i got some equation that involves our unknowns do is what i'm going to be looking for and that's part of this equation here so uh, so let me uh, approach this as a general physics problem solving, which is that I look at the um, physical setup, and my first step is to come up with enough number of equations to cover all my unknowns. I started out with at least one unknown, DO, that I want to solve for, okay? So I have an equation that involves DO. Let's count my unknowns. Uh, I know HI, I know HO, I... Oh, wait, wait. I don't know di, I don't know do. So I have two unknowns, one equation, not enough. So I think about, oh, where am I going to get more equations? And as I kind of think about this setup, maybe doodle a little bit. So I have an object here, do a little ray tracing to figure out where the image might be. Um, 
And as you do that doodling stuff, you realize, oh, did I draw the right? I think I drew decent, cl close enough. <laughs> Actually, these are a little bit too different. They should be the same angles. So as you think about the setup, you realize, oh, I haven't used the thin lens equation or the, the geometric optics equation that also applies in the case of uh, mirrors as well as lenses. So I write it down and see if I can use it. You know, it's got uh, some of my unknowns, great. It's got DO, DI, and uh, if I didn't know the focal length, then I would still need more equation. But uh, I recognize some of the information they were giving us earlier, and I'm gonna treat focal length as a known of this quantity. So with that, I have two equations, two unknowns, I can solve it. Um, and let me see, uh, let me use this opportunity to use the sage map. So um, I didn't set up anything with the sage math. So I'm gonna just uh, use a sage math cell. So let me use this opportunity to use the online version of sage math. Because uh, what I have is I can define this equation. So let me define equation one as, um, and if uh, I'm gonna avoid the compl complaint, uh, I should define my variables. HI, HO, DI, DO. M, I don't need it. I'm going to skip it. F, uh, and I think I have everything. So equation one, that'll be this first equation we wrote down. HI divided by HO is equal to minus DI over DO. Equation two is my thin lens equation. One over F is equal to one over DO plus one over DI. So given those two equations, I can um, have sage math solve. Um, the, that system of equations, equation one and equation two, and have a solve for the two unknowns. Uh, so I really want only DO, but I will have to tell it, well, I don't know DI, so solve for that too. And it'll treat everything else as known. So let's see what that gives me. Uh, I evaluate, uh, is there a complaint? Equation two, oh yeah, I should have said equal to. <laughs> There's a difference between assignment symbol and equals symbol. All right, it's got me solutions. The, it's, so it's given me a set of two solutions. And I can see that this is some sort of weird, trivial solution. I'm, gonna use, I'm not going to use it. I'll just use the first set. In the first set, if I get the, uh, just the first one here, that's my object distance. So I could say the solution I want is the first set of that first element. Uh oh, I think I need to actually print uh, solve. For me to be able to see what it is yeah so this is the way to set up sage math to have it do this uh, algebra for you it's really good at uh, solving system of equations linear equations i had it do that all right that looks good so i need to just plug in this and to plug in those numbers what i prefer to do is i use a substitution syntax so uh, any algebraic expression in sage math has something called the substitute method bound to it and I'm gonna use it this way. So I specify F is equal to 10.25 centimeters. HI is equal to, uh, that's the image, so two, uh, but it's gonna be minus two centimeters um, because I figured out, oh, it's gonna be upside down. And I think if you forget the minus, that does cause issues. So I remembered it. HO is uh, equal to um, three centimeters um, and uh, I think that's all the symbols I need to plug in. So let's see. So yeah, substitute that way. Let's see what we get. So that's the expression. That's yeah, object distance, 25.6 centimeters. That's probably right. Um, I think so. Um, I guess one intuition I can use is uh, when the image is at the double the focal length, Sorry, when the object is double the focal length, then the image it forms is the same size, magnification one, as the object. Uh, when it's farther away than that, then the image gets smaller and smaller. You want the image to be a little bit smaller, so this is a little bit farther away than double the focal length. So I think that's right. So, but it's a strong. <laughs> what did I do wrong? <laughs> 25.25. It's possible, um, let me try something. It's possible there's a programming error. Okay, I think I corrected the answer key, so let me 
refresh it, uh, it'll say it's wrong because this is the wrong answer. The correct answer is what I had before. Uh, one with the negative image height and um, so yeah, positive object distance 25.6. Yeah, uh, this question has been around a while. I'm surprised that no one's uh, alerted anyone to say that <laughs> it's the wrong answer. Mm -hmm. And yes, that fixed. Um, so you know, it, uh, I know this is a little bit circular in that. How do you know this answer is correct? Because uh, because I know it's correct, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm so sure of that. That's why I corrected this uh, uh, answer key. And uh, let me see if um, so. Um, yeah. 